Hi, you guys. So I'm still in my mysterious place. This is why I look different in this video. But anyway, um, you guys in the Patreon know where I am. <laughs> I keep it secret out here. It's a really weird place. Anyway, um, it seems like a lot of uh, people are in Europe right now. I saw my friend Dax from TMZ. He's in Europe and Kyle's in Europe. Kenya's in Europe. It's like a lot of people here. Anyway, um, I might be in Europe. I might not be. I might be in the UK. I might not be. I might be in a, just, it's very confusing where I am. Okay, let's move on. So this video is about uh, Teddy Mellencamp's husband's company, the security company, which you guys love to call out is kind of scandalous because it has all these really bad reviews. It also is run like a multi-level marketing company. The name of the company is Skyline. Now, before we move on, I want to just say I'm doing a Patreon version of this video. And that is because I was sent a bunch of gossip about people that work at this company, which was pretty shocking, but I can't share it out here. And it's not because I'm trying to force you to join the Patreon. It's just too sensitive. So I have to put it in the Patreon. Anyway, if you want to go see that video, it'll have the same thumbnail as this one but in the Patreon will be a different video than this one, slightly, okay? So let's get into the main stuff that, uh, the mainstream stuff that's out there about this company. And I'll give you some insight into why I think it's run the way it is, okay? Because I think that's gonna help you a lot. First, let me show you a picture of Teddy Mellencamp promoting her husband's company on Big Brother by wearing a T-shirt, trying to get the word out. So what got people's eye originally about this company is they looked into it and, well, a few things. First of all, it seemed like Teddy Mellencamp went on the show, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and her and her husband were really struggling for money. And then all of a sudden, she goes on the show and he, you know, um, sees his Skyline security business kind of take off. But the reviews that people see are terrible. And I'll show some of those now for you to just take a look at so you know what I'm talking about. And it's really like sketchy, dark, kind of bad reviews, right? Like taking advantage of people. Basically, they're like all bad and they say pe they've been, their elderly people have been scammed out of money. They couldn't get refunds that they were looking for. They were unhappy with the service. They were like stalked in the sales process. Like they couldn't escape the salesman. I mean, like crazy, crazy stuff. Like I could have done pages of this. Then you look at, um, they have really great ratings, right? From other people, but these, <laughs> the great ratings are sponsored, meaning they're paid you know, you pay Yelp to have those put high, which means they're probably people working for the company, right? Just saying, probably, I don't know. But then you also see uh, that they have these, this other uh, really great ratings, right? But those are unverified ratings. So they have like a, a way they will tag it and they'll say, well, these are verified and these are unverified. So the unverified ones are like all five-star ratings and the like Yelp one, are all really bad, but what's compelling about them is the stories in them are so long. Why I believe them is they're like, as I just showed you in the first one, like a whole essay about, you know, how they were wronged or what happened to them. These are not people, I think, just trying to come for Teddy Mellencamp and her husband, you know, like these seem like legit people really upset or like in awe of what's happening to them with this company. A lot of people also think it's weird that, I guess, so many people on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills have been robbed, including Teddy, and her husband owns a security company. So it's like you would assume that everybody probably would be using him on the show, which they don't. And that also, of course, it wouldn't, you know, that Teddy would have all of her properties super, super 
protected because of her husband's job. Now, this is what the site says that they do, but there's a lot more to this. Skyline Security is the largest authorized dealer in Los Angeles for Brink's security system, but they also use a really strange motivational style in getting um, these you know, people to sell, which makes them sort of hard salespeople. Now, I believe some of this comes from Teddy Mellencamp's thinking, which is, remember, she's got that diet company, which you know people have claimed is like a starvation diet. I did a video about it earlier and that basically you're, she's just being paid, you know, to be like your accountability coach and keep you on this like ridiculously hard diets, like kind of strange. The whole thing is weird, right? It's like bullying you into not eating or something, but it's unhealthy is what the main problem people have with that business. Now in this Something they also had in their past was they went to a church in Hollywood. Now, this church was not a traditional church. It was sort of new agey. And they actually even did a video that was uh, going around YouTube where they talk about joining this church. I think I have it in the Patreon. I'm pretty sure I put it in there. Post a meme to me. Yeah, and you know, Hollywood could be a very, very lonely, lonely place. You're surrounded by so many different types of people with different motives and different goals. And I was struggling and I was feeling alone and I was feeling lost. Going down Hollywood and La Brea, we'd always see this all these people hanging out around 9 a.m. And I just saw people smiling all the time. <laughs> everybody just, happy. Everybody happy. It was like, whatever they're doing there, <laughs> they're doing it right because you just see all the love coming out of everyone. I remember the first time we walked into church and I was like, what? It was just so amazing. Um, and but basically what it is, is that like they're enrolling people to be a part of this church in Hollywood. And they're like saying, oh, this changed my life. It's very culty, okay? I mean, they're calling it a church. It's certainly like new agey. I guess it's supposed to be Christian, but it is really very enrolly. Like I'm trying to get you to join, right? And it's a hard sell again. So it occurred to me to mention to you that in this video, because I do think that they're, you know, they do like do multi-level marketing and sort of like religious enrollment. And it's just, it's, there's a theme, there's a pattern. Teddy Mellencamp's husband, Edwin Arroyave, I hope I said that correctly. He's Colombian and he came over, I guess, to America with his family. <laughs> Teddy would like you to see his upbringing. So I thought I'd include it in the video. He'll then go on in that video to say how amazingly successful he's been. Now let's continue with the rest of his story. I guess he did telemarketing to support his family, which is a very sketchy business, poor guy. And he had to start very, very young. That was a unknown thing in LA, by the way. That's is nothing like weird about that. There was like all these telemarketing companies trying to get really young people in college and or in high school to do telemarketing jobs in LA for no money, knowing that they would like burn out, they would sell and burn out. But obviously he got to know the, the hard pitch, right? Now, not all telemarketing firms are boiler rooms, but you know, it can be, uh, it's, it is, depends how they're run and what they're selling. Lucky for Edwin, he was really good at telemarketing. So he, I guess, got, you know, brought up the ladder and started to teach other people how to telemarket. Anyway, from there, I think he hooked up with some guy that he did business with out of Puerto Rico that had like a security company and that sort of inspired him or taught him the business so that he could then start um, Skyline, which is the company he has to this day. Anyway, just really quick, I don't know if you know how Edwin and Teddy met, if you missed that part of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but basically they had a one night stand. Teddy thought she was just hooking up with a dude, I guess, to have sex, and then it turned into something more. 
Strangely enough, even though he's super famous, his wife's super famous, and his father-in-law is super famous, nobody knows who his dad is. But they do know who his mom is, and his mom was Blanca Cardinia. There's lots of scandalous like rumors about why that is, which I won't get into in this video, but um, I did not find any evidence that any of those rumors were actually true. I think they're just people speculating about the mystique around the fact that nobody knows that information. So here's a recruiting video for Edwin's company. Only one company to work for in the smart home industry, Skyline Security, right now is looking for the best of the Grant Cardone following to join their team and expand financially and professionally. Go to joinskyline.com to register. Labeled by Inc. 5000 as the fastest growing company for the last two years in a row, you get to protect families, grow your wealth, and join a team of top producers. Skyline is looking for great people. Go to joinskyline.com. If you're not satisfied with the status quo, if you want to kill the competition, if you're ready to grow your business at massive levels, I want to take three days to spend time with an exclusive group of people. Now that isn't sketchy at all, is it? Anyway, what does he do? He does all these motivational videos telling you about how you can get rich quick and that, you know, complacency kills and all these like really fun taglines to make you think that if you sell security stuff, you're going to be rich. Now, I'm sure some people do get rich, but I'd say it's probably not the majority of people. Um, but he seems to be getting rich, which is good. I'm so happy for him. Um, anyway, I just, you know, there is like a really... You guys know how I feel about multi-level marketing. It's, I learned when I was young, I didn't know the business. I learned what it was and I was like, you know, it's a business that is full of people that are a little bit questionable in their practices, I'm just saying. So you have to be really careful which one you join, what, you know, what, are you selling a real product? Are you selling just for the commission, like there's so many, and it's really borderline. The FTC investigates them all the time. So you have to be really Usually careful. They have these downlines and they'll move downlines into these businesses. And you know, you'll be like, oh, I'm gonna make a fortune. I'm like really early into this opportunity. And then you're like, wait, I didn't make that much money. It's because the person brought like all their salespeople over from one product to another, meaning they don't really care about the product they're selling. They care about the opportunity that they're selling, which is the commission. And that's where it gets into gray water because you're not allowed to do that. You have to be selling a real product and you cannot be selling just a business opportunity because then it becomes a Ponzi scheme in a way, or more importantly, a pyramid marketing scheme. Anyway, warning signs or anything that's too good to be true, like you could buy yourself a house in less than a year, or you could make $100,000 by the end of next month, or work from home and you'll make, you know, and by next year be a millionaire. Those are warning I'm signs. I'm sure the Beverly Hills platform really helped with this business a lot. So just so you know, now they're selling solar panels and they're doing that whole solar panel hustle now, the, the you know get solar pa panels installed into your home. That's why Teddy was wearing the shirt on Big Brother to promote that. Yeah, the energy division, I guess. They've moved on from security. Anyway, <laughs> oh God. I don't know, what do you guys think about Edwin's Skyline Security Company? Care to comment below? How do you feel about the reviews he was getting? And what have you guys heard? Let's get into it. Come on, it's fun. And here's a really fun picture from my trip from I went into these caves that are over 5,000 years old and look how beautiful they are.